Now, uh, you know, the one that there were multiple questions on was the one on P negative lactic acid. And, and, and the answer to that question involves a lot of other pieces and parts to the puzzle of what the probiotic science that we're, we're doing is all about. Um, and I use this as an example, not of telling a clinician what to do, but to show something that they can look for. And then when they look for it, they need to find a company that provides the information. So let's, we're just going to delve into the D-negative lactic acid, which is an isomer of you know, lactic acid, which is the definition of probiotic bacteria. And some people simply cannot metabolize the D-negative form of lactic acid. Uh, chronic fatigue patients a lot, um, SIBO, short bowel, gastric bypass, um, uh, certain, you know, eating way too much sugar, things of that sort can, can lead to an excess of D-negative lactic acid. And what are the symptoms? Well, you've got gas, bloating, brain fog, fatigue, gait issues, uh, speech issues, all can come from an excess of, of lactic acid. And all I like to point out is, is that if you know which bacteria are producing some D-negative lactic acid, my question is, why would you take it? When there are other choices where that's only going to produce the L-positive form, which is easily metabolized. That's the very simple answer to a, you know, a much more complicated question. 